Hey y'all. Let's see if it's gonna do it. No. Facebook is acting up today. Hey Robin. I had to like exit the last one because it wasn't working. Let me see. It's still not letting me really invite but like six people. So Hi, Savannah. I'm going to wait just a minute and see who all wants to hop on. Can y'all hear me? <clears throat> and I will post this live. That way y'all can go back if you need to take notes. Um, I'm going to be reading from what I wrote. So if you see me looking down... It's just, I like to take notes and like read instead of just like doing it on the whim. It's just better for me. That's what I did most part of yesterday was really like writing down how I felt and what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If y'all are commenting, I cannot see comments. I don't know what's going on with Facebook Lives, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you can hear me, give me the thumbs up or... If you're able to comment, comment. It may just be that it's not allowing me to see them right now. You never know. You never know. So, all right. So, we're going to get started. So, this, um, what I wanted to talk about today is what is success to you? So, I want you to answer that question below. And hopefully, I'll be able to go back and watch and see the comments because I'm not seeing anything right now. Um, So maybe, hopefully, it'll let me see comments here in a minute. And then also, what does your mindset look like for your business? So think about those two things. And then I want you to comment on this video but, uh, and answer both of those questions, okay? So, um, I feel like we all need, there are, y'all, what is up with the flies this time of year? I am like, done. There's a fly in here that I cannot get, and it has bothered me for the past couple days, and it's getting on my nerves. Anyways, side note. Okay, I feel like, personally, we all need a mindset check right now, like this month. I really feel like last month, I'm going to be very honest with you, last month was hard. This fly. Last month was hard. And it's it wasn't just hard for our team. It was hard for everyone. Um... It was hard for people that don't even do direct sales. It just, life was hard last month. I'm going to be very honest. And like, more than just business-wise, I feel like my mindset last month was not the best, okay? But it's a new year. It's a new year. Y'all, I'm going to catch it. It's a new year, and... I refuse to have a negative mindset. Hi, Leslie. I cannot see comments. So if y'all are commenting, I can't see. And it's only showing that one person is on here now. So anyways. <clears throat> so if you're newer in this business or if you aren't happy with your pay or how your business was last year, I want you to start thinking, hold on, I'm trying to read my notes, y'all. It's like chicken scratch because I was writing so fast. And last month, if you were starting to think, man, this sucks, this stinks, like what the heck am I doing in my business right now? It could have been better or were you just thinking negative thoughts, right? Did you know that we usually have about 60,000, yes, there's a fly and he's driving me crazy, 60,000 thoughts a day. 60,000 thoughts a day. How many out of those 60,000 thoughts a day do you think are negative or positive? Don't ask me why there's balloons. Thank you, Facebook. So, out of 60,000 thoughts that you have every single day, are your thoughts more negative or more positive? 
We have to be in control of what we think because most people think more negatively than positive. But we can switch our minds from negative to positive like that. When you start thinking about something negative or you start feeling some sort of way, if you're having a day and you're like, I have done everything in my business to try to get sales today and I didn't get one single order, and you start thinking negative things, well, maybe I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not supposed to do this. I want you to shift before you speak those words and find something positive. God, <laughs> God bless me today. My kids are healthy. Um, at least I have a job. Or start thinking positive instead of speaking negative. I'm telling you guys, the negative thoughts are not going to get you anywhere. Negative thoughts, you're going to continue to be where you're at right now in your business if you continue to keep thinking negatively. You're not going to grow. You're not going to change unless you get up and do something about it and stop being so negative. Trust me. My life last year was hard. Our family went through a lot of stuff and there were moments where I cried and just thought all these negative things like why us lord why did you have us move here when all of this bad stuff is happening to us why 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 well we're not supposed to question him and i just to be honest with you when i was thinking those negative things and asking those questions i didn't really work my business i i didn't and it showed right so instead of thinking negative thoughts we need to start thinking more positive I want to say you're all on this journey for a reason. You all found me some way, somehow. You all found the person that you joined under since he came into your life for a reason. There is a reason. You need to share your story and your success. You need to share your failures. People need to hear that. You haven't recruited, but you want to. When was the last time you, sh you got on, went live on Facebook, or got in your stories and did a story about why you joined Sensi or maybe the failures that you've that's happened in your business or the positive things that's happened or things that's happened because you joined Sensi when was the last time you joined the reason you joined Sensi maybe you haven't even given any given it a thought of why or how you joined maybe you need to write that down the first year I joined the month I joined my upline told me that I needed to write down my story and my why. And then she had me share it within, I think it was four months in because I had just hit director. Um, she had me share that story on everywhere. She even made me do a training on her, on her team page about my story and how like I came to Cincy and this and that and the how it looked for me and what the things I was doing to make it successful and all these things and I'm going to tell you I have never actually came out and asked someone if they wanted to join Cincy I have brought it up in conversation talking about the business and like how much I love this company but I've never, ever been that person that has sat down, sent out 10 messages and said, hey, would you like to join my team? I don't do that. And I don't recommend you doing that. But if you want to see success, you have got to share your why. People want to <coughs> connect with you. And they are not going to join under somebody or join a company if, there is that, if there's no connection. And they're certainly not going to join under you if all you do is post negative things. If all you're doing is you're in your stories whining and complaining about whatever is going on, right? They don't want to hear that. We have got to be the people that bring more positivity into this world. Hey, do you surround yourself with negative people? Y'all hear, y'all hear Justin? I'm going to tell y'all something. Last year, we stopped going to church. Okay, we had been going and we had been like church hopping, going to be very honest with y'all. And then life happened and it was hard and we, we stopped going. And when we were not going, life seemed like hell. Okay, but 
not when life got easier because it's still not easier we ended up I remember just saying okay we've got to go back like we've just got to go back and this is where I want us to go so we ended up going back to church if y'all don't know we have a church here called Latitude Church if you've never been you can go to latitude.church.com and you can watch at your house I would love for y'all to watch one of um, our church services and see what you think but we started going and not that life has gotten easier but just certain things have happened and I truly feel like our mindsets have definitely changed and we are being very much more into like diving into the Word of God and really listening to him more because he's always speaking and instead of me crying or being upset about the situations that I'm going through and talking about all of those things with the entire world when they don't need to hear that, I am try I'm looking for all the positivity, all the positivity. So that is why I share now with you guys a quote each day because I don't know what y'all are going through. Y'all don't talk to me every day. I don't talk to y'all every day. I mean, we're in our chat, yes, but I share quotes daily now because I, I don't know what y'all are going through and I want that to be at least one positive thing that you can read and can change your mindset for the day or that one positive thing that maybe you're going through hell right now in your life that you read that and you're like, I needed to, hear, I needed to read that today because that has happened. There are now people in the church that we go to that will just randomly message me that I haven't even like really talked to a whole lot, but they'll just randomly message me and tell me something and send me a Bible verse or whatever it may be. And it's like they, God knew at that moment I needed that message, right? So you might not be happy with where you're at in this business and that is okay because it happens, it's life, but it will get better. But you've got to change the negative mindset of, oh my gosh, like, I made $5 last month. Well, that's your fault. I'm sorry. You may not like me saying that, but that's your fault. When was the last time you booked a party? When was the last time you told your story? When was the last time that you had a conversation with the person that booked a party if they wanted to join? When was the last time you offered and talked about Scentsy Club? When was the last time you went live and shared about the products or went in your stories and shared about the products? When was the last time that you actually worked your business? I mean, seriously, just posting about Scentsy is not really, is not going to get you anywhere. You got to connect with people. You've got to add new people. You've got to add new friends every day. You've got to build connections. You've got to go through and start liking people's stuff, commenting, happy birthday, um, seeing a post that re that just you see their dog. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest dog I've ever seen. You've got to connect with people because if you don't connect with them, they're not going to buy from you. It's not going to happen. Okay. Every one of y'all that joined under me, y'all joined under me for a reason. Y'all found me some way somehow but it's because I worked my business I did not work my business as hard as I probably could have last month but last month was a really freaking hard month and there's no more no one else to blame it's my it's my fault right and I'm not and I don't want y'all to think like I'm yelling at y'all or doing anything like that but I'm just being real because that's what you're gonna get from me your mind will tell you you should be farther along. Listen to this. Your mind will tell you that you should be farther along because this person is. How many times have you thought this? Oh my gosh. Serena hit director in four months. I've already been with Cincy for two years and I'm still a certified consultant. I know y'all thought those things. I know you've asked yourself that. But you're not that person. You're not me. Your journey with Cincy is completely different than mine. Your life isn't mine. The way you work your business is probably totally different than the way that I work mine. You can only control what you do. I cannot control what you do in this business. I can talk to y'all. I can do training after training after training. I can post every day. That's why I post a goal every day because I want it to be like an encouragement. Oh my gosh, our goal today is $600. Let's see if we can hit that. I'm going to tell y'all something. 
my upline told me not to do that. My upline told me not to have a chat for us because it would be a distraction, but I really don't think that it is. Um, I feel like our team is a strong team and that because of the chat and because we have connected and we're all, we have bonded with each other and I feel like the reason we hit goals is because y'all want to see us hit those goals. So just because she told me not to do it, it's not her business, it's mine. And I told her that. If it works for me, I'm going to do it, right? So what you want from your business takes consistency. And it will come when it's supposed to. Lead, star, superstar consultant, director will come. But guess what? You got to get up off your butt and you got to work. You got to quit sitting on the couch and thinking, oh, I'm just going to post twice a day. Or maybe I'll post today and then I'm going to take a week off and then I'm going to post next week. People aren't going to take you serious. They're not. I don't support people that uh, show up or only message me when they need something. But I never see them post about their business or talk about their business. Nope. You have to be consistent. And people are going to watch you. That is how I've gotten new. That's how I get new customers. Because somehow they see my story. Somehow someone has shared something that I have posted or a live that I did. And then they see me and then they watch. And then when they mess, when it's a new customer and they, I get an order, I message them and thank them. And they're like, girl, I've been watching you for like three months. And I finally decided I wanted to try that air purifier because you keep posting about it. And my friend Jacqueline said she got one and she's obsessed. So I decided to watch you for a while and now I'm ready. You have to be consistent. You have to show up every single day. I'm not saying that you have to show up every single day and work every single hour of the day because you don't. You really only have to work a total of maybe two hours a day. Really, really. And if you don't have anybody under you yet, that needs to be one of your main focuses this year. If you really do want to grow a team and make more money and, and do the things, and you got to sponsor. You've got to sponsor. And maybe that scares you, but maybe, maybe what I just said, the things that scare you are worth going after. I never wanted to really have a team, y'all. When I joined Sensi, I was just doing it so that I could get a discount on products that I already loved. And then it just kind of happened overnight, like just happened but my journey is different from yours so if you want to build a team or you want to get people on your team what are you doing to make that happen are you sharing about the opportunity are you talking about how much fun since is are you talking about the trips that you can earn are you talking about incentives that they do like um a refrigerator that we could have earned i took a cash payout that month when they did that the chairs that we earned um all these things, share that. Even if you didn't earn it, you can still share about it. And if you share about it, I promise you, if you are wanting to earn lawn chairs or a mini fridge or whatever the next incentive, they're going to be doing another one soon, um, whatever it is, and you share about it, people are going to show up and want to support you because they want to see you earn it, okay? If you're praying for a bigger team, or more sales or more parties booked, the only thing you can do is what you can control. The majority of your business is in your control, but the rest of it, like how many people want to be leaders in this business? You can't control that. You cannot control. I can't control how many of you all will be leaders. I can't control that. You can control yourself to become a leader, but I can't control that. I want every single one of y'all to build teams and do the hard things, but I can't make you and I can't control that. You can lead every person to the same water, but not everyone will drink. And this is so funny because I read, side note, I read the Bible yesterday evening and one of the passages that I read was talking about um, and actually it was last night, I didn't read it. It was a YouTube video that I watched a preacher preach on. He was talking about how um, some of the leaders that were against each other 
um, it was the Minionites and some of the other leaders. I don't know, but the Minionites were evils. They believed, like, they didn't believe in God, any of that, but they were a huge army. Huge army. They had, like, 30,000 men army, and they were going after this other group of leaders, and he had a team, an army of, like, 3,000, and he just... He was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how we're going to defeat, you know, defeat them. And God was like, you've just got to trust me. And he said, I want you to take your guys down to the water. And I want you to see how they drink. And out of those that drink, I want you to split them up. So the ones that cup their hand and bring the water up to their mouth, I want you to put them in one group. And then the other ones that go down to the water and they just stick their heads down and like lap it like a dog, I want you to put them in another group. So he, they did that, they listened, and out of the 300, there were, I believe there was only like 30. So they split them up, and he said, the ones that lapped the water like a dog, I want you to tell them to go home. But the ones that went down and put the water in their hands and brought it up and started drinking the water, those are the men that are going to fight for you. There were like 30 of them, okay, against 30,000 other men. And he said, the reason you're going to keep the ones that went down and brought the water up to drink is because as they're drinking, they are aware of their surroundings. And those are the ones that you want on your team. The other ones that went down and just lapping, they can't see anything but the water. So I just thought that that was, that I read that and then I had... You can't lead any everyone to water. You can't make everyone drink. Some will, some won't. So this business is so much more no's than yeses. You are going to hear no every single day if you're working your business the way that you need to. I get so many no's. When I ask 10 people to book a party, I guarantee you 8 of the 10 are the ones saying no. Okay? I get no's too. Almost every day. If you're only asking five people to book a party, most will say no. But if you ask 30, you're going to get more yeses. I want to encourage y'all to have a mindset check today. Evaluate how you're viewing your business or how you're thinking about your business, how you're viewing your business, how you're viewing yourself. If you're trying, if you're tying your emotions to your business, that is very unhealthy. If there are life things going on and you're having a really crappy day because whatever is going on and you are bringing that into your business, that is very unhealthy and that is negative mindset. Because trust me, when you're having a horrible day and you're outside crying all day and then you're also trying to work your business, you're not really going to work your business the right way because you're not in the right mindset. As your team grows and you have people that don't like you or talk to you really nasty and it's not glorious, your mindset, you've got to be able to set your mindset apart. When you have those days where people are totally against everything you're saying and doing and they're being very negative, you have a path. Either you can go along with them and be really nasty back and be negative, or you can be like, nope, I'm going to turn the other cheek, and I'm going to have a positive mindset because this is my business, and this is what I want out of my business, and I am not going to let you guys ruin my business. If you're tying your emotions to your business, it's the worst. You're going to tie your work based off your emotions, and none of it is true. If you're hearing people tell you you're not good enough, you can't do this, trust me, I want you to make that your driving force and work your business. I was told growing up that I was never going to amount to anything, that I was going to end up just like my dad, which is not a very good person, and I refused to let that define who I am. I refused to ever let that define who I am. I am here to prove those people wrong. The ones that are saying, oh my gosh, she really doesn't have a real job. She's working sensey, like you can't make money. Uh, yes, she can. Yes, she can. 
And if any of y'all want to know my biggest paycheck, come talk to me because I will tell you. What's true is what you say about you, not what someone says about you. What you say about you. Y'all this fly. So what are you saying about yourself? Are you saying, oh my gosh, like I can't do this. Well, no, you can't because that's what you're telling yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to grow a team. Nope, you're not because you've already spoke that out into existence. Switch those thoughts. I'm going to be successful in 2024. I'm going to grow a bigger team in 2024. I've already set a goal. I really want to sponsor 50 people this year. That will be the most I have ever sponsored in one year. Last year, I sponsored 44, I believe. So this year, I want to sponsor 50. I wrote it down. I spoke about it. I'm praying over it. I, I actually came on. I actually prayed before I came on here with you guys and, and just prayed over our team. I know, I know a paycheck that I want to make that I have not hit yet. But by the end of 2024, I would love to hit. And I've wrote it down. And you know what? Sometimes you might have things that you want to happen in, in the year 2024. But may, it might not be the right time. God may make you wait. He is not ready for you to have all those things happen. I want to be able to make enough so that I can completely remodel my home and make it the dream home I've always had. This might not be the year for that yet because he's still got work to do. He's still got work to do on me, right? So, yeah, we're not, we don't finance anything. Cash. You want to know 300 to 400,000 is in cash is what we want to save to make what we want our dream home from what we have already. We ain't financing. We are trusting God that he is going to make it happen and it will happen. It may not happen this year. It may not happen next year. It may be five years from now, but we're just going to trust the process and trust in him. And we're going to continue with that positive mindset that it will happen. And we just may have to live uncomfortable for a while. Guess what? That's what God wants. He's going to make you uncomfortable. And when you're uncomfortable, I'm telling you, big things happen. Big things happen when you are uncomfortable. When everything is going good, something's going to happen. You're going to get uncomfortable, but something even better is going to happen out of that. I, I promise you. I promise you. So what is success to you? What does success look like to you? It is different for everybody. Success to me is being able to provide for my family, being able to have time off whenever I want it, being able to take a vacation whenever I want. Because I don't have to call out a Cincy. I can still work my business while on vacation. I can still work my business when my kids are here. I That is success to me. Freedom, time freedom. But success for someone else that's not even part of my journey yet, that will be, maybe it is to make an extra $100 every month. Maybe it's so they can go from full-time to part-time at their job that they cannot stand. Right? Success, it's not a paycheck or a title. It is not a paycheck or a title. Just because I'm a director does not mean crap. Can I say that again? Just because I'm a director, it does not mean crap. It's a title. And titles do not define us. You guys, I start as a cons essential consultant at the beginning of every month, just like you. What sets me apart is that I refuse to give up. I refuse to sit back. I refuse to be lazy. I will work my business every single day, even if I'm the only one part of this team 10 years from now. I'm going to continue to work this business. So what is success to you? Because it's not a title and it is not a paycheck. And like I said, I already told you, it's about being present for every event, getting to take time off when I want to. Success is different for everyone. Work on your mindset. And everything in your life is your mindset. Everything that happens is your mindset. 
The mindset is the foundation. If you wake up, prime example, if you wake up in the morning and as soon as your feet hit the, hit the floor, you're grumpy or you're angry, guess how your day is going to be? Mm -hmm. It's going to be negative. But if you wake up, even if life, even if your family or you're going through hell, because life happens, right? It's not always rainbows and sunshines. But you wake up and you refuse to let that define you. And you wake up and you're like, thank you, Lord, for your blessings. I have a roof over my head. My kids are healthy. They're back in school. Hallelujah. <laughs> Because uh, I don't have to hear arguing 24 hours a day, right? Um, I love my kids, but anyways, sometimes you just need that break. It's a healthy break, right? Um, but if you wake up and you're positive about things and you're thanking the Lord for all the things, even if you don't believe, I'm here to change that because I really feel like God wants me to step out and help bring more people to him and I'm an introvert so even just posting about it and talking about it has scared me because I'll tell y'all something I unfriended someone today because she questioned God in her post um trying to say that Christians don't really know who started the the world it was not God Soon as I saw that, I'm sorry, but I unfriended her because I don't need that negative stuff from Satan to be on my newsfeed immediately. I've never even spoken to this woman, so she's never bought from me. She probably doesn't even know who I am, but I unfriended her because that's Satan. And that's Satan's way of like just trying to take me. You know what I mean? Like he's trying to put things in my head and I refuse to believe those things. So... I'm here to say that your mindset does have everything to do with the outcome of your day, your month, your week, your year, your business. If you want your business to be successful, you have got to stop being, oh, so, whoa, oh, so me. This person said this to me. Oh, my gosh, life sucks. Yes, life may suck. But change that mindset and say, Okay, Lord, I know that I'm going through this right now. Everything around me is breaking right now, Lord. I understand this, but I know that you're going to take care of it. You're going to continue to provide. We are healthy. We're a family that's still together. We're a family that's going back to church. Thank you. Change your mindset. When you change your mindset, you're going to see a switch in every aspect of your life, I promise. Be grateful for every dollar you make with Cincy, and someone out there is praying for what you have. So share it. Someone is praying for what you have right now, so you need to go and share it. You need to share your story. If you don't know what your story is, you need to get a pen and paper out and say, Okay, why did I join Cincy? Here's the reasons why I joined Cincy. I wanted a discount on my own products. I wanted community. I wanted to get friendship. I wanted to be a voice that could be heard from other people. I wanted to be able to share these amazing products with other people. I wanted to be able to make an extra income. Whatever it is, you have a story to tell and you're gonna have to dig and you're gonna have to find that story. Go back to childhood. Maybe something happened in your childhood that made you feel like you were less of, of a person when that is totally not true. And maybe you wanted to be a part of this community because you saw the connection and the community and the friendships that you can get out of it. Maybe that's part of your story. Share it. And I'm going to tell y'all, I know a lot of y'all don't like going live. I know a lot of y'all don't like getting in your stories and talking. Who cares? Do it anyways. I'm challenging you all to do that this year. If you want to see growth and change, by the way, change is my word for this year. You have to do the things that scare the crap out of you. You are not going to change if you sit there and you do the same thing you did last year. There will be no change. You will be stagnant. Did you hear him? He said doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is insanity. It really is. 
for the ability to say yes to your kids, for the ability to time freedom, what does success look like to you? What do you want out of your business this year? What have you wrote down? If you have not wrote a vision board, mine is actually my screensaver on my phone, you need to do that. You need to write down, I don't know if I have it in this book or if I wrote it in my other book. I think it's in there, in my other book. You need to write down your visions for this year. You need to pick a word. You need to pray about it if you don't know about it, but you need to find a word for yourself for this year. Maybe it's authentic. Maybe it's amazing. Maybe it's change. Maybe it's um, trusting. My daughter said trusting was her word for this year. Um, maybe, I don't know, time freedom or inspire. That was my word last year was inspire. And I did that. I didn't know how or how it would happen, but I did that. I actually got several messages from people all through last year that somehow I inspired them and I had no clue I was doing it. So pick a word that you just feel like speaks to you. I kept seeing the word change in like every single thing. I would turn something on, that word would come up. People would talk about change and our pastor was talking about it and Chloe, I think, talked about it. Consistency. I, if you are someone new in this business and you're not consistent with your business, I think that was my word for the first year when I joined Cincy was consistency. It was. Last year was inspired. This year is change. Write that down. Use that word. Consistency. Because when you see that, you're going to wake up every day and you're going to see your goals and your dreams and your hopes. And you may not mark everything off. Everything may not come this year, and that's okay. My dream house of, didn't come last year. It didn't happen, but I put it back on my board for this year. And if it doesn't happen, it's going to go on my board for next year. This did? Well, this did, but like... You wanted a freaking old house. That was your dream. You got it. Okay, but that's not what was... That was the year before. This year, last year, was to, like, build, start building and stuff. Well, we changed our plans on what we were doing. Y'all. If y'all would like my husband to come on here and do a training. What? Would you comment below? I can't see comments, but. And I'm going to read this. Because Chloe sent me this when I hit director. And I still use this book. I want to read this because it goes along with what we were talking about today. She is extraordinary. She is creative. She is intelligent. She is phenomenal. She is confident. She is kind. She is important. She is magical. She is authentic. She is amazing. I am she. She is me. I don't know why I needed to share that, but maybe y'all needed to hear that today. You are better than all the lies someone has told you and you can do hard things and this business is going to change for you this year as long as you get up and put in the work and be consistent change is not going to happen if you're stagnant and you all have a purpose in this business you all have a responsibility you all have something to give, and you may not know what that is right now, but if you are a believer, I just say pray about it because I've been praying what my purpose is, like why God created me, what hit, what my purpose is to him, because I really don't know, I'm going to be honest, and I just want to hear what my purpose is, and we may not find out right now, but if we continue to pray and just ask for his guidance, you're going to find out what your purpose is in this business. And big things are going to happen and big things are going to change. But you have to trust in the process. You've got to change that negative mindset to positive mindset. And you can do it. You've got to get up and put in the work. It's not easy. If this business was easy, every single person would do it. Okay? It's not easy. It's not meant to be easy. 
it takes a lot of consistency showing up when you don't even feel like showing up you think I like doing trainings y'all I don't feel like I have anything to give but I do it because someone needed to hear what I had to say today so I love you guys I hope this was helpful for you guys um, this is something that I really wanted to start off the new year with with changing our mindset and finding out what success looks like for us what is success to us and we need to go out and share that and make that vision board get on canva and just put in some pictures that's what i did put some words on there for your visions for this year find a word that speaks to you and when you do i want you to share about it either on the team page or in the chat i want to see your vision boards i want to see what you're working towards this year and then I want you to check off the things that end up coming to life. And the things that don't means that you just have more work to do. And you're going to put those on your board for next year. I love you guys. I'm so happy to have you guys in my life. Y'all are amazing. Never forget that. I'm always here for you if you need to talk one-on-one. -on -one. doesn't even have to be about Cincy. If it has something to do with anything, I don't care. Feel free to come to me, okay? I don't even have to be your leader. You can still come and talk to me. So I love you guys. Y'all are going to do amazing things. Our team is already like doing so good this month. I'm so proud of y'all. We're over halfway to director numbers, meaning we've sold over 5,000 this month already. And y'all are doing phenomenal. And if you're not active yet, that's okay. There is still three more weeks left. You've got this. So love you guys. Have a great day. Time to get to work.